Other world time. I gotta say, it's pretty daring to give you a weapon so huge. Like, they must have just said, you know what? I don't give a damn to any clipping issues, because this is definitely gonna cause clipping issues. It's so big. I'm starting to like this doll. It gave me a gun before, and now it gave me more target pistol ammo. Thanks, buddy. Wasn't terribly effective. Yeah, I think it's target pistol for those things. do on health. Not amazing. Let's take a health drink. Green. So I've got 24 target pistol rounds left. Stairwell works. So I've sadly come to realize that my trusty alcohol bottle cannot be thrown. Just a blunt weapon. Gotta hit somebody with it real close. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we have to go down the stairs. strange depression carved into the door. Looking at it makes my head feel numb. So that was an odd thing, obviously. It's like we were in a movie for a second. Ah, uh, yeah, special symbol there over the door. Obviously we gotta find something to get in there, and that's the female seclusion place, which is probably where that person is that we heard about when we first came into this place, that I thought might be a boss. drawer. Oh. Ah. 
Damn it. red damn I probably should just run from those things and then try to shoot them from afar those are definitely not melee weapon enemies definitely gun enemies yeah so disorient disorienting oh another place I can switch between worlds barbed wires stretched across the cubicle Kitchen knife. I wonder if there's a limit to how much I can carry. Probably not, given I have three, like, 20 pound wrenches and a whole freaking IV drip. Well, not anymore, that thing broke. Alright, let's not switch worlds just yet. Not until I fully explore this one. Oh, I guess it's just female dorm number five. Yeah, just that one door. Let me go check it real fast. It was locked, as you'd expect. Whoa. Wasn't expecting blood in this better version of the world. Toilet looks blocked. There's a metal ringing in the pipe. Sounds like something is stuck. Is it the key? Should I flush it? Sure. Oh, I see. I flushed it. F well, I drained it in the bathtub on the top floor. And now down on this floor, I flushed it through. Now it should be in the basement. That's kind of funny. You got to keep flushing it down and down. Bring my bring me my son. Yeah, that was definitely written by that that patient, the one that's probably in the female seclusion place. Because the note mentioned that they keep getting angry at like their husband about not being able to not. They won't let them see their son. Is all my ammo. Those are kind of cool enemies, actually. They're wearing something metallic on themselves, and that's the only part you can see, but you can also see the shadows that they cast, but you can't see them. It's pretty neat, actually. Oh, 
to the stairs. Cool. Doctor Harry Harry has the key. Is wait. Harris? Dr. Harris is the key? Someone has written the message reads Dr. Harris has the key. Yay, I read it right. Thank you for the validation, Travis. Patient belongings key. Why is it on like a little swing thing? Target pistol ammo. You know what's really, really weird about the selection thing? This thing? So you notice how it's got arrows pointing up, left, and right? Well, if you want to go from the weapons to the melee weapons, you press up. If you want to go from the melee weapons to the guns, you also press up. Why don't they use down and make them two distinct states? Like you switch to the upper state to get your guns or something, and then to the lower state to get your melee weapons. It's very weird. Someone left their doll. I'll leave it here in case they come looking for it. I don't think words can get across just how much the combat and the controls in this whole game just feel so clunky. Right, no healing items. One of you, hi. <laughs> oh, every time I look at this map zoomed out, it's scary how big it is. Oh, wait, I've already been here? Oh, right. Yeah, I have already been here. I just unlocked this door from the other side. So I'm not going to find anything new here at this point then. Okay, uh, should I go down to the basement to try to find the key? I probably should. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty close to the center, so I'm actually heading there to go to patient belongings since we now have the key for that. Plus, I never checked up here at doctor's office or cloakroom. Dr. 
Dr. Harris, our magpies have been at it again. This time they swallowed the damn keys for archives in the basement. Don't worry. Carrie has taken Mr. Magpie to the TB ward and I'm, I'm taking Mrs. Magpie to hydrotherapy. We'll make them spit the keys out. Oh, well, I got the one from the TB ward. Or no, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one I got in the iron lung. And hydrotherapy, we flush that down, so that must be the key for the archives, apparently. Sounds like there's a bunch of people just talking loudly in there. Shotgun ammo. Just need to find the shotgun. Status report. February 7th, 1961. Mrs. Something, age 35. Uh, I think that's the same person who we read about before, the one that wants to see their son. Um, condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world have become more acute, and she spends more and more time in an apparent catatonic state. She claims that during this time she is in the other world. She now has full recollection of her attack on her son, but shows no remorse for the incident. Indeed, she seems proud almost smug for attempted filicide. I'm worried that this behavior could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilinium that the patient has been prescribed. I've asked for her dose to be halved and hope to see positive results shortly. Mirror world. Hmm, not as much as I hoped for in here. Shotgun ammo is nice at some point in the future, but I really want healing right now. Shotgun! Heck yeah! Oh, I didn't mean to go through there. There's probably enemies. Is that double barrel? Yep. How many shots do I have for that at this point? 14 plus what's loaded. Hmm. I guess each each thing of shotgun ammo that I find isn't as much as I thought. I thought it'd maybe be like six or eight shots or something, but I don't know. What does each one hold? Two? I definitely should save this for powerful enemies. I don't want to just use it on some general enemy, not some genemy. Oh, shotgun ammo. Actually, let's confirm it right there. So I had 14, now I have 18. So each box is four shots, okay. Please let me see the other direction. Thank you. Oh, these things, I didn't have any trouble with the other one. But then again, I caught them by surprise. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. This is a bad idea. Run! No! Load, yes. Let's try that again, but let's use the shotgun considering how hurt we are.
damn it. So I'm trying to save up ammo because if you use the gun as a finishing move, it uses one of the shots, which, you know, with a shotgun is a lot of ammo. Being a dual barrel shotgun where each box only has four shots, not so good. So I want to switch to a melee weapon to do the finishing move if I can. No, don't quit the main menu. Oh, fuck. That scared me. Alright, it's a waste, but considering I'm gonna die in one hit. Let's just get it done. How do I reload it, by the way? Oh. Down on the D-pad. Wait, what are you doing? Can you just infinitely reload? Weird, where are they going? Where are those shells going? It's not using them up even, thank god. Alright. Is this where I came from? Yeah. Oh, the walkway doesn't even extend to the sides. Never gonna be able to reach this door. I mean, that's not true. You could easily step over there, but... I get it. It's a bit creepy. Oh, medkit, yes! Ah. Sweet, sweet silence. More shotgun ammo. going that way. Ah, now we're on the in-between for the first time. We've been over here and we've been here, but now we can go see all of this. Shots of that to take him out. They really are being pretty generous with the ammo. I don't feel like I need to conserve it too much at the moment. Oh, the stairwell. Hmm. Let's not go there just yet.
commanding officer's report, November 4th, 1959. When I arrived at the something house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbor, Mr. Bryant, who first called in the incident, had restrained Mrs. and the paramedics were tending to the child. The husband, Mr. had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Oh, this must be the incident where that that woman attacked her son. Thanks to Bryant's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell, and I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appears that Mrs. had attempted to gas herself and her child. When I spoke to the suspect, she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded I, released her so I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Mr. Bryant commented that several times in the previous weeks he had heard loud arguments and screams from the house. He said, Helen has not been well for a while. Okay, so that just leaves the stairs, right? Yep. Up or down? Let's try up first. Okay, down. That's a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return we're going to explore the basement in the other world. <laughs>